night again everyone my name is sister Shelly Ann Clark and I'll be your night's moderator I am thine O Lord I have heard my voice
time, we'll ask Sister Shauna Bennett to come and do the opening prayer. After which, Sister Vilma Clark and Amalia will come with the devotional exercise. Okay, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We are going to go to the Lord in prayer. We are going to assume our prior position. Your position is however you choose to approach God. You want to sit if that is your position. If you want to stand, that is your position. Knowing that the position that you're in is stating your need for God. Most importantly, I want for us to position our hearts. We are going to approach the throne of grace. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you, Lord. Our Father, which art in heaven, you are gracious, mighty God. You are high and lifted up, mighty God. We come before you this evening, not of our own will, mighty God, but we recognize, Lord, that you are sovereign. You, mighty God, would have allowed us to be here, mighty God. We could have been elsewhere, mighty God. We could have been in the hospital, but mighty God, for your grace and your mercy, we lift you up this evening. We magnify your name this evening. You are awesome, mighty God. We big you up. We worship you freely. We praise you freely, mighty God. No one has to ask us, but of this we give to you freely. Father, we need you. Father, we need you. We need you, mighty God. We need you. We need you, mighty God, to speak to us individually, mighty God. We all have a need this evening, Lord, that we are presenting to you. Father, you know the need that your children have. So this evening, mighty God, as we come with our hearts open, as we open ourselves to you, mighty God, as we pour out, mighty God, everything that is in us, Lord, the bitterness, Lord, the anger, Lord, the disappointment, mighty God, we place it at your feet, Jesus. We place it at your feet, Jesus. Father God, we need you to be that I am, that I am, that you declared mighty God. So be the I am for each of us, Lord. Father, we need you to be the I am. We need the I am provider tonight. We need the I am protector tonight. We need the I am healer tonight. We need the I am mighty God, the one who looks as a mighty God, the one who loves us in spite of in spite of mighty God, the one who loves us, mighty God, you said your love for us is from everlasting to everlasting. Father God, help us not to take your love for granted. Help us not to take your mercy for granted. Help us not to take your grace for granted. Father God, we are standing here united. We recognize that you are sovereign. We recognize, mighty God, that you are sovereign. You are indeed the ruler of our lives, mighty God. Mighty God, we give ourselves to you tonight. We give ourselves to you, mighty God. Holy Spirit, run upon us tonight, mighty God. Holy Spirit, sit on us, mighty God. Holy Spirit, convict us, Lord. Convict us, mighty God. We know where we are at in you. We know where we need to be in you, mighty God. Remind us, Lord, that your mercies, even though they are new each day, Lord. Lord, even though they are new, they are not promised to us, mighty God. We do not know when you will call us home. So, mighty God, help us to honor you in all that we do. Fight the battles for us, mighty God. Fight the battles for us, mighty God. We cannot fight these battles, mighty God. Father God, we look to you tonight. We look to you tonight. Lord God, we rebuild our altar of prayer in our lives, mighty God. We look to you for everything. You are our sustainer. You are our sustainer. 
Mighty God, we did not come here to see each other, but we came tonight to see you, Jesus. Let everything that be done be done to glorify your name, mighty God. Let us not take anything away from you, mighty God. We are insignificant, but we come here, mighty God, to worship you, mighty God. We came to meet with you, Jesus. Breathe on us, mighty God. Breathe on us, mighty God. Say your breath from heaven, mighty God. Father God, we want for you to curfew this place, mighty God. We will praise you freely, mighty God. Lord, you said you will bless us when we praise you. Let us praise you, mighty God, from that inward place, mighty God. Our praise, Jesus, cannot be superficial. Lord God, you see what we do in secret. You see us in secret, mighty God. You said there's nothing that is hid from you, Lord. So even tonight, we lay it at your feet. Hallelujah. Have your sweet way with us, mighty God. Have your sweet way, mighty God. We commit ourselves to you. Father, we pray for the speaker that is bringing the word. Let our hearts be open. Open our understanding, mighty God. Let us understand the words that will be preached tonight. Let us apply them to our lives. Father, I present the praise team to you, Jesus. Breathe on them, mighty God. Stir them up for you, mighty God. Stir them up for you, mighty God. We present the musicians to you, mighty God. Father, you said, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. We praise you, mighty God. We lift you up. We thank you, Father, that we are here to worship you tonight. Have your way with us, Lord. Have your way with us, Lord. Let your will be done, mighty God. Forgive us of our sins, Jesus. Help us to forgive others that may have hurt us, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift you up. We lift you up. In your name I pray. Good night, everyone. Our night's nice lesson will be taken from Jonah chapter 2, verses 1 to 10, which will be read by Sister Anna Jones. Good night, everyone. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God, out of the fish's belly, and said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord, <coughs> and he heard me out of the belly of hell, cried I, and thou heardest my voice, for thou hast cast me into the deep, in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about all thy billows and dry waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again towards thy holy temple. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul, <coughs> the depth closed me about the roots were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottom of the mountain. The earth with her bars was about for about forever. Yet hast thou brought me brought up my life 
from corruption. Oh Lord, my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remember the Lord, and that prior came into me, into the his holy temple. They that, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed salvation is of the Lord. And ten times last. <laughs> and the Lord spake, spake unto thee unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. The end of prayer, the hymn we honor by saying Amen. Our hymn will be taken from hymn 130. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, just to take him at his word, just to rest upon his promise, just to know the said the
precious Jesus. Hallelujah. How precious is God to you tonight, everyone? Hallelujah. God is so sweet. It's so sweet to trust in Jesus. Lean on him and leave your every care to Almighty God. Hallelujah. At this time, Brother Janarda Wright will come to do the welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths. Just going to ask everyone to stand for a brief moment. I know you're coming from work or wherever you're coming from. You may be a bit tired. And as you stand, just send up some praise in a club offering to God the Father. Just send up some more praises to God the Son. Just send up some more praises to the Holy Spirit who dwells inside us and greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. At this time, I just want to extend a warm welcome to our host, Pastor Bishop James Lewis, and the fir our first lady, Sister Lewis. She's not here at this time, but I'm not sure if she's watching online, so we extend greetings to you just the same. We'd also like to extend welcome to the members of our council board who are here at this time. We extend welcome further to our musicians. They have been doing a great job. To our amazing praise team, they are doing their thing also. We extend um, greetings also to the choir that will take the stand in short order. We extend greetings to our viewers online. Do feel welcomed and I hope that as the word goes forth, as we have our worship session tonight, Indeed, your hearts will be blessed, and those who have not yet come to know Christ as Lord and Savior, we, they will come to know him tonight. We further extend welcome any first-time visitors here tonight. All right, so I guess not. Well, if you're here and um, you don't acknowledge yourself, we still extend warm welcome to you, and who we hope that you will be blessed tonight. Thank you, Sister Shana, for doing the opening prayer, and Sister Vilma and Amalia for the devotional exercise, and Brother Janard for the welcome. Please stand, everyone. At this time, we'll be doing our theme song, Prayer Bells of Heaven. Now in 276.
prayer bells of heaven, how sweetly they ring. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name Jesus. At this time, we'll be going into the collection of our offering, and Sister Annette Cox will be doing a special item. stand we're going to bless the offering father god we worship and adore you father god we praise you father god we thank you for life we are grateful mighty god that we can come back into your presence and into your kingdom to give back a portion of what we have received from you so mighty god we ask you tonight that you will bless those who have to give, bless those who cannot find it to give, that Lord, you will provide jobs upon jobs. You'll provide the money from whatever source, mighty God. You knows everything, mighty God. A cattle upon a thousand hills or yours. So God, you will do whatever you ought to do. So God, we give you glory even now. Bless the hands that stretch forth, mighty God, and the hearts that are willing to give. So in Jesus' name we pray and we ask this. I've come too far to look back. My feet has walked through the valley. I've climbed mountains, cross rivers, desert places I know. And now I'm there in my home shore. The redeemed or see Heavenly angels are singing. I've come too far to. too far to look there. My feet has walked through the valley. Oh, I've climbed mountains across the river. Oh, desert places I know. But I am there. Oh. 
there's no happiness, no happiness. Some see no reason for living. Some see no reason for living. Life will give you a broken dreams. Oh, fill with heartaches and pains. But turn around, don't go back again. Oh, yes, face the new day before you. Place your heartaches in Jesus' hand. For he can mend broken dreams. Oh, I've come too far to look back. My feet has walked through the sand. I've crossed mountains, bound rivers. Oh, desert places I know. But I am daring my own shore. Oh, there team for rejoice, rejoicing. And heaven angels are singing. I've come too far to Hallelujah. I've come too far to look back. Hallelujah. Stand everyone. We are going into another aspect. We are going to a praise and worship segment. 
And at this time, I need everyone to open up your cup and let God fill your cups tonight and receive a blessing from Almighty God. Praise God. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven is not my home, then Lord, what would I do? The angels back on me from heaven's open door. Everybody say, we shall see the King of Kings. 
Lord, everybody. Let me see those of you who are expecting to see the king tonight. Lift your hands and praise the Lord. Amen. We anticipate the day when the Lord shall come again. And we shall see him face to face. God bless your praise team. God bless everybody who is here tonight and those who are watching via the social media. Glad you could have joined us again. It is the last night of our, our prayer crusade and to God be the glory. We we'll have been here from Sunday night and God would have blessed us in a tremendous way. And tonight we anticipate another great blessing from the Almighty God. And we are blessed tonight with the presence of two wonderful servants of the Lord. We heard from Billy Morris on Monday. Amen. Delivered the word about Jehoshaphat. Amen. And to God be the glory. And he's here tonight. Uh, some of the members from Rumpton. Right? Yes. Pray. Put your hands together for them. We want to welcome you in a special way. And glad you could have you know, made it you know, back to, to Glen Devon. Amen. And I've often said, when you see the sons, they leave Glen Devon and come back. We must feel proud in our virgin. Amen. Amen. We must feel proud and feel happy that, you know, you too would have played a part, you know, in their lives, in their growth, you know, and, and development. Praise the Lord. We are very happy too to have another servant of the, of the Lord. One whom he is, you know, called by God, you know would have dedicated, you know, his life to the Lord for, for many, many, many years, you know, serving the Lord and being a minister of the, the gospel in the New Testament, you know, Church of God. One who would have held many positions, you know, in the, the church. I said some times ago, when it would come to, you know, devoting, and I know his name would be on top, you know, at getting the, the highest number, you know, of vote. I remember those, those, those days. And to God be the glory. Would have pastored many, many churches, you know, churches like Glen Devon, Roamton, Cambridge, Grange, Montego Bay, just to name, you know, uh, a few. And the Lord, as I said, you know, has always been with him. And has blessed him, you know, tremendously. And I know the Lord has given him a word tonight. Amen. To share among us. To share to, with us in this, oh God, our prayer crusade. Deliverance through prayer. Amen. He believes in prayer. There is a minister of the gospel who believes in prayer, who believes in faith. Here is one. And I speak of no other person than the Bishop Keaton on Williams. But I, I can't introduce him anymore. Amen. But you know him quite well. And so I'm going to invite the choir to, to give us a selection. And then the next voice you hear will be that, you know, of Bishop, you know, Keith Williams, my friend and my brother, you know, in the, the Lord. And I'm very glad I'm at Glen Devon at this time. I say sometimes I go, I can reach out and say, Bishop Williams. Please come and help out your son. To God be the glory. Choir, please stand.
Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you as you open your heart to the Lord. Yes, God bless you, my friends. Good evening. Good evening. God bless you. I wouldn't mind. I don't want you to be too much behind me. So if you come, you know, and if I will say Jesus, Jesus, after they were set, God bless you. May be seated, please. Right. Yes. Amen. Good evening. Good evening, Bishop Lewis and Sister Lewis. I haven't seen her. Maybe in her absence, I greet her and all the brothers and sisters, all God's people. Can I could be straight to come out um, in the night because from about when? 2020 March, I think I went to yeah a night service in um, Nantucket. I haven't been back out since then. Tanamia, you know. So, but it's a bit strange, but I am happy to be here. Very happy, very happy to see you and those brothers and sisters from Rohampton. God bless you, Pastor Morris, and um, it's good to be here and to be a part of your week of we call it Believer's Week, a week of prayer, crusade, a week when the people of God, the people of God would come together for the building up of the believers, for the strengthening, the encouraging of the believers. Amen? You know, brothers and sisters, I don't have to tell you. Paul said, understanding that the time is that I don't have to remind you that we are living in the last days. In the last days. We are living in trouble sometimes. Unless we understand the time, pastor will never be able to navigate how to live. I often said about us too much church in our us. Sister Bell, good to see you, Brother Bell. Right. Too much church. Um, you may, uh, maybe you don't, you may, you know, get me, but I am hoping that and trusting the Lord that even for this week past, the believers, the believers, I think sometimes we, <coughs> Sorry, telling people how we want to win souls for the Lord. You know, that's not really our job, you know, whether you believe it or not. It's not to win, but we can't. We can't. It's God, Jehovah, and God alone who saves people. He may use you. He may, I said, use the word may, as an instrument to reach that man, that woman. But it is God who does the winning past. It is God. There's, too, there, there's nothing, absolutely nothing, when it comes on to the human element that is in producing a child of God. No, it sounds hard to some people, and some people are ready to question no, you don't have nothing at all to do with it. Oh, we plan the meetings and we pray. Well, my friends, if that was the case, the whole world by now, Montego Bay would have been one of the most, um, what you call it, blessed place on earth. It is God. And it's so hard for some person to appreciate that God before the foundation of the world. He knew you would be here tonight. I had no plan faster. Absolutely no plan coming out. Leaving the house. No, no. Uh -uh. But God. Jehovah. Yeah man. Before the foundation of the world. Whom he did predestinated. Them he called. He God. Called those 
who may predestinate. I know that there are some people going to say, well, you know, I'm pastor. God didn't. Uh, where did I go? God did know that you would get saved. So God predestinate. Come on, man. Don't, don't, don't ever you believe to treat God like that. God is sovereign. God is eternal. God exists out of time, my brothers and sisters. It is God. You know, I am hoping that the Bible, that, where's your Bible there? Okay, good, right. You have your Bible, right. Now, that is full of information. Full of information. Agree? Mr. Betty, agree? That's information. Now, for you to understand that, you have to have revelation. You get me? Right. No, it's, it's all information. And the, the Bible, the, the Bible is a spiritual book. It is. And so, it was written by holy men of God who were inspired so in order for you to understand it, you have to be inspired, illuminated by the Holy Spirit. Because other than that, you can't understand it. It's foolishness to you when you read it. Because it is God who breathed in on the men and women who wrote the scripture, holy men of God wrote as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So Jesus said, the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So if you are to understand that, you remember when Philip went up to the eunuch, it was the Holy Spirit who told him, you know, to go there. And another thing, um, why we limit God so much in our time that it's amazing because um, the Bible said the Holy Spirit just pick up Philip like that wherever he was, right? And landed him right at that one man, one man um, coming from Jerusalem, right? And Philip drew near to him. The Holy Spirit said, get near to him. Because it's, it's God who does the saving. It's God who does the drawing. It is God who does the regenerating. It is God. It is God, Jehovah. A whole heap of people get, come at church, get baptized, and we so oh, the church is growing and you know because a whole heap of people get baptized and something like that. But it is God who saves. So when Philip asked the eunuch, do you understand what you are reading? Because Solomon says, wisdom is a principal thing. So get wisdom. If it means if you are to get it, it's available. Otherwise, he wouldn't say, get it. it. It is available. And James said, if anyone lacks wisdom, let him or her ask of God. He gives it liberally. I love that. I love that. And so, Solomon said, get wisdom. But in all you're getting, hallelujah, get understanding get understand. It's really uh, shocking how so many people in Jamaica, church, churches, and the lack of understanding God's word. It's amazing. It's really shocking. Shocking. The, the, the religiosity that I see around me. You're not going to agree with me because um, you know, people are always say, ah, you think that you 
radical and you know, I don't know why would you say that because here is the word of God you know but God when God spoke in Genesis when he said come let us make mankind let us make mankind and let them have dominion in the earth I don't believe God was making any joke here. he was very sincere about it hallelujah and the bottom line brothers and sisters where am I wrong pastor I forget it you know the bottom line you can you can turn it down if you have to the bottom line is this that God's desire for man is that man would be like him God in the earth so God had no intention whatsoever to rule earth to run you know the guy said to run earth God had no intention so he said I'm going to make mankind and we would want to believe that God did make woman less than man and all that and God did make woman after man the Bible says God made them male and female no so right 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 I saw the Bible say I saw my Bible say and I believe the old says so there right yeah man and the Bible say God bless them There's, it didn't say God bless the man he said, God bless them both. In Genesis 1, verse, from verse 26. And God bless them and say, increase, multiply, spread up, take charge of the earth. Hallelujah. No, no, brothers and sisters, my friends, we know that man missed it because of why? What man missed it? Because of? Because of? Disobedience. Rebellion. Oh, yeah. Disobedience, you know. Rebellion. In Romans 5, your Bible says, about verse 17, from verse 17 to verse 19, said by one man, say with me, one man. By one man. That's what your Bible says? That's what your Bible says? Yeah? What's the name again? You. Yeah. Eh? What's it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. But by one man, who was that one man? Adam. By one man and woman, to both of them were equally involved. By one man, one woman, disobedience. That's all. It brought what? Huh? It brought sin. No man. Because of their, their disobedience. What your Bible says. By one man's disobedience. From verse 17 Romans 5. It brought death. Death means separation. Right? Cut off. Disconnected. You see when you. Uh, I, I mentioned that a few weeks ago when I was here. When you don't pay a telephone bill. You lost the service. Correct? On, so it's disconnected. The phone is good enough, but you didn't pay the bill, so you lost the service of the bill, uh, 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 of your phone. It's disconnected. So by one man's disobedience, by one man's rebellion, by one man's stubbornness and, and, and lack of trust and faith brought death, separation. So man lost his position with God. Because God's plan, God's plan was that man would run earth. Mankind would be in charge of earth. Hallelujah. But the same Romans 5 verse 19 there about it says, But, but, somebody say but, but. So anytime you see something look dark and dismal in scripture 
and you see the negative, then you hear, but look for something great. Look for something exciting. Look for something spectacular. Look for something wonderful. But by one man's disobedience, death. By one man's obedience, what it brings? Life. Who is this one man? Jesus. Call his name, man. Call his name again. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, look at it. By one man's rebellion, by one man's disobedience, by one man going out of line with he man became dead. Every man all have sinned and come short of the glory. Hallelujah. But by one man's obedience, glory. Hallelujah. So we are told in, if in Philippians chapter 2, your Bible says that, well, verse 5 said, let this mind be in you, the mind of Christ, who being very God, Lord, I love it, who being very God, did not see himself e equal to be called God. But what he did, he made himself of no reputation. What did he do? He took upon himself the form of a servant. And by his obedience even to death, he humbled himself. And what the Bible says, based on his humility, based on how he condescend, hallelujah, and say, Father, not my will, but yours be done. The Bible said, out of this, God has highly exalted, oh, God Almighty, oh, bless the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. And Peter is saying to somebody tonight, humble yourself therefore under the almighty hand of God and he will exalt you in due season. Are you with me tonight? And the Bible says God resists the proud but he gives grace. Somebody shout grace. Grace and more grace to the humble. Hallelujah. God sees the proud afar off. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. But those who humble themselves. So here Paul is saying, let the same mind of Jesus Christ. You oh, know, God, God Almighty. You have some peacocks around. Everybody turn bishop. Everybody you must call him apostle. Everybody you must call him prophet. When this is prophet so and so. This is doctor so and so. The Bible said Jesus Christ who being very God. Hallelujah. Did not see himself as God. But he made himself of no reputation. Took upon himself the form of a servant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And he looked at his disciples and he said, my sister, I am your Lord. I am your master. And if I be your Lord and your master, wash your feet, then you are to wash. It's not a doctrine. I don't want nobody to get up and start because of the people. But them now what? It's not a doctrine. Jesus said, I have given you an example. Amen. That you know see yourself better than nobody. Amen. And if you the, the greatest in the kingdom of God, Jesus took a little child. I'm going somewhere. Amen. And he and, and he said, unless you be converted. Do you know a holy but church people not yet converted? Amen. Not yet converted. Converted. You holy but you here no have a you don't have a clue what um sterling was like. Pound, shilling, and pence. Faden, penny, half penny, quarty, right? You don't have a clue. Of what I'm talking about. 
you're as uh, you're as dead where that is concerned, ignorant um, as anything. But there was a time, I think it was about 19, I'm not sure, about 1968, there about, that we were converted from pound, shilling, and pence to dollars and cents. Uh, hallelujah. And you convert from imperial, as I go, imperial court uh, to what? Uh, this, that, liter, that, that, that. I don't bother if I don't understand it. A centimeter. We used to say 12 inches make one foot. 12, 3 feet make one yard. 80 yard make one chain. You get what I mean? Yeah, man. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what we knew. That's what we grew up with. But there was a time when it was converted. Amen. From pound, shilling, and pence to dollars. You can't. You can't cannot friends have conversion you are not the same conversion means to change you are you change from one thing to the other are you with me tonight therefore jesus looked at peter and he said peter the devil asked me to sift you Let's give him a chance, rather, to see if you like we do. You know that Jesus did not say, Peter, I'm going to pray that the devil doesn't sift you. you. You know, we are here praying for, for Master God for the one holy for something. Are we? Not true. Me say, look at your Bible again. When Jesus told Peter, my sister Isabel, that the devil asked him, Jesus, just like how Satan did ask God about Job, right? Same way the devil, Lucifer, Satan. I see him, devil, we are dealing with tonight. I the same devil, hallelujah, the deceiver, amen, the murderer, the killer. Yes, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the trickster. Yeah, is the same one we are dealing with tonight. He went to Jesus and he said, Jesus, I want you to give me Peter so I will sift him like wheat. Jesus said uh, um, to Peter, I did not pray that the devil will not sift you. Am I talking to somebody? Hear me and hear me well. A lot of us come to church and all we want, oh, that that would bless me indeed. And all the prophecies we hear is how you are going to own jet plane and how you are going to get house, big house, wherever. That's all the prophecies you're getting. Nobody no prophesying. Say amen ahead of you, Vilma. Amen. Bonds and affliction are waiting for you. Nobody now prophesy that you are, you might have to go through some fiery trials which is to test you. You know, hear no prophecy that you might have to spend seven days in prison. Not maybe the literal prison, but maybe based on the circumstances, based on the situations, Based on whatever, nobody no pako shatarababasaya. There's a spirit of deception. There's a spirit of divination. They tell you what clothes you wore to work today. They tell you, Amen. What you had for lunch is the spirit of divination. Amen. They are able to to read you up uh, and to tell you you just put amen this camp like this camera amen religious camera you put what then 100,000 here so and amen and because you put it here amen leave it on seven days time you get 100 million dollar is a trick from hell and there are so many people People who have been deceived by this amen spirit of deception. I'm coming to you. Jesus did not say, Peter, 
I pray for you, child of God. I wonder if we have anybody here tonight. Some through the waters, some through the fire, some through the flood, but all through the blood. God leads. Did you hear what I say? God leads. God doesn't drive us. Amen. You must be here as a child of God. Did you hear what I said? I didn't say you're a Christian. I said you are a child of the living God. God, you know who you are and you know whose you are and you should be able to stand up uh, and say the Lord Adonai is my shepherd. The Lord Adonai is my master. The Lord Adonai Yahweh is my light uh, and my salvation, my deliverer, my great physician, my burden bearer, my problem solver, my healer, my provider, my Diane, my, my, my defender. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Malahu, yeah, amen. And you must be able to say it, you know. For listen, the enemy will have you marked, right? And he want to sift you. But Jesus said, Peter, I am not asking God that the enemy will not sift you. I pray for you that your faith that your faith that your F, not F-A-T-E F-A-I-T-H that your faith say with me according to Hebrews 11 1 no 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 Diane no faith no Faith, no, underscore, underline, koshata, underline, no, faith is a substance, this is it, it is the evidence, the exhibit, amen, not seen, Jesus said, Thomas, because you see me, you believe but blessed are those who have not seen, but believe it. Faith is a substance of things. Talk to me. I'm, uh, 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 <laughs> Lord God Almighty. I don't have my watch. The word of God says in Hebrews 11 verse 6. For without faith. Are you with me? So say it with me, without faith without, is without fasting 40 days of fasting you know so? 21, what well you call it? Daniel's fast but who you get involved in that Daniel's fast? who you? where you get that from? that you get involved in Daniel's fast Daniel don't fast, him fast long time and dead and gone who you get involved in that? tell me eh? You tell me how under God's eternal heaven you you gone in a Daniel's fast. For what? People, you know you we have been deceived. I was going to read the scripture from Matthew 24 and close. But we have been deceived. We have been tricked. God in church building and the roof has to be up in here. We have been tricked without faith. Without F-A-I-T-H Faith is a substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. You see how many of you come, come at church Sunday morning? I'm next in line for my blessing. The 
sees who is before you, you know who is standing up before you. You don't know. And who is behind you, don't know. Who is the way I do not lie. Eh? Where you got giant lie, you see people giant lie. Where you got giant lie, no? Eh? eh? You because you see them giant lie, you have a fashion. Eh? You know, church, at times we wake up, do you know, man? God Almighty. At times we stop the foolishness and we can run the church, you know? You don't think I'm full time now? Eh? You think it's full time for some of us to stop the foolishness of your career? And the, the song that we are singing, Ride out your stone. And then the people start bawling. <laughs> and you love it. Because that's, that is, you know, it's the devil deceiving you. It's not knowing the word of God. If you didn't know God's word, you know, come out your house and go out and, oh, my sister, sister, Velma, oh, God, ride out your storm, sister, Velma. Lord, there's no scripture for that, you know, friends. There's none. When they woke up Jesus, when they knocked on, when he was down the bottom, they sleep in. And he, you know, the first question, tell me the first question Jesus asked you. You remember? Eh? Eh? Nobody? Be, no, eh? Don't talk, man. Don't be afraid. Say it. Y you know, that is our, your problem. That is your problem. You know, you know that is your problem. You refuse to talk. You refuse to speak. You know, the first thing that Jesus asked him before he rebuked the storm, where is your faith? Weird. I wonder if I'm helping anybody here. God, Holy Ghost, I love you. God already there said to you, go to the other side. That, that, that's the command to do this. Oh, God Almighty, Father. Yeah. That's the command. Go to the other side, brother. There is a, 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 a mission. There is a work. There is somebody that needs you on the other. The devil from hell is going to create this storm. Not God. Not Jaco Shata. Storm doesn't come from God. If the storm was of God, well, but Jesus could not rebuke it. God's desire for you tonight is to move to another dimension. That's the will of God. That's the will of God. God's plan for your pastor is to go to another dimension. One of my favorite songs, but I can't sing it. You know that. But we were in Bethel Bible. Pastor from 1971. Young. Really strong and ignorant. But full of zeal. Eh? I, I passed up one year before I went to Bible College. While I was in Bible College, I was a student pastor. We're having challenges on campus. Things dark, Pastor. You know, dark, hard, rough, tough. Just going here, why and all kind of stuff. But so Brother Thompson, Sylvester Thompson was a prefect. And he said, um, we are going to have a day of fasting. The, the chickens mustn't get any dinner. The po all pots must turn down. And only one young man did not join us. The entire student body didn't join us. And um, everything. While I was on campus, I had a goat, so all the goat never get anything done. As a student, you know, I had a goat, right, my friend? Yeah. <laughs> right. 
You know, I got married when I was a student here on the campus. So, yes. And um, things were rough. I mean, things just not now go on. I, I, Bible call it, but one hold it for foolishness and how can I? And so, when I come to the pretty, said we're going to have a fast. About four o'clock in the afternoon, I went up the balcony. I stayed by myself. And we're closing past. And we start singing this song. Loose your hands. Man. The psychiatrist said, when you fold your hands, you know. Give me no money. Yeah. He said, I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights are closed. We are closed. We are closed. I'm gaining every day. Still praying. Holy Ghost. As the hand word bump, Lord, plant my feet on a higher ground. You know, the, it was the second stand that really. was not spelled with two common O's. Ten capital O's. That's all my poor. But 
my heart at 15 years old. I left my grandmother's house and with tears in her eyes, she said, have manners. And good manners will take you. Trials, walk on in the cross road, go beside policemen and see the police behind you. But go on to go in the force where you will be looking to for them. They call out, Keith Williams. And he said, Let me see this young kid. So he said, to Run pick up the girl head. Yes, let me go get ball out to the man. Keith, they come up. He said, Let me reach his age. Before um, uh, I'm going to hear the pastor, yeah, come on, go to Columbia. No, Pastor Papa, I'm going to do this. No, Pastor Papa, I'm going to do this. House of the Lord Bishop of the Anglican Church, Bishop Percival Gibbs, the Church of Kingston College. Amen. I tell you, Mr. Every morning we have a prayer meeting, and you read from the book. I don't know if you wrong with that. You understand? But there was something. So I, what I would do, I did my own personal studies. You know. Road and then take the bus up Cross Road to go to um, Fairgrounds Corner. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it, 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 it's going down the city. The, the one stop on Fairgrounds, you understand? Uh, to take the bus from Fairgrounds Corner and the Manishin Road and take the bus from um, Ma Ma Fairgrounds Corner to Cross Road and walk from Cross Road past the Gardner. Life, but believe God. Believe God. God has God's people. There's nobody with this clear church. You know, God bigger and greater. Your heart, some inside of you, is telling you that God is bigger than this. That you were born, my sister, for much more. Than this. Not can be done. Church. And fight that fire to the back. You know, I've got no fire, Mr. So. We don't need that every Sunday. What we need is God. When you come together, desire must be to lift up each other, power each other. And, and so Zacchaeus said, I have to see. What time is it? Good God, I love it. What time is it? What time is it? Five minutes to nine. Good. Yes. The point is, my friends, there's too much pian pian. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it. Time is short. The end of all things is at hand. Diana, 
old time now. We decide to listen when we come together. We come together to lift up Jesus. Is that is that a praise team? Believe you me, because I, 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 most of the time no no praise. Can I tell you the truth? Things are no not good. It's, a, it's choreographed. It's, it's serious. You see, if you start reading the Psalms, Psalm one forty eight, and you read the word, and the word is the word. Sing the word, pray the word, believe the word. It, the word is life. The word is light. Psalm 119 verse 130 said the entrance of his word. Give it light. Give it life. And it gives understanding to the simple. Get in a hit star. Go back to the Bible church. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is time. That you understand if you are redeemed as a child of God. Nobody come here but you asking God to do. God has finished his work. You get what I'm saying? He's waiting on you, my sister, for the manifestation. He's waiting on you to bow your knees, my all. Is on the altar. I'm waiting for the fire. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I'm waiting for the fire. We have substituted Diane. Consecration for praise and worship. So you don't hear nobody singing, take my life and let it be consecrated to Lord. Take my hands. When we were going to school, Malahu, he said, Watch your eyes, what they see. Watch your ears, what they hear. Watch your lips, what they say. Watch your hands. Oh, God Almighty, help me here tonight. Ooh, somebody raise your hands, both hands. Lift them up before God tonight. Open your mouth. Lord, I give myself to thee. Thine forever. Holy, holy, holy. Open your mouth. All to Jesus, I surrender all to Him. Hey, hey, hey. Good God Almighty, somebody, 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 lift your spirit uh, to the Holy Spirit. Uh, and give yourself. That's what uh, Paul said. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you. By the mercies. By the goodness. By the love of God. Present your body tonight. Present your body. Present your body. Your body. Your body. Your body. Your body. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, the whole earth is full of his glory. Present your body, present your body, present your body, amen, as a living.
as I live in. I wonder if there's a young person here tonight, a teenager, a 12 year old, a 13 year old, a 14 year old. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eli said to Samuel, if you hear the voice, say, Speak, Lord. If you hear it the full time, hey, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Paul, Jesus said, while the disciples, I take five minutes, I'll close. Five moments, and I'll finish. He said, Yeah. They said, Lord, look at the building. See there, one of the seven wonders of the world, St. Matthew 24. Jesus walking away from the temple with his head hanging down, disappointed, displeased. Amen. Because he had met some religious people in chapter 23. Matthew 23, you find seven woes. Woe to you, scribes. And Pharisees, hypocrites, check your Bible, my sister. God, Jesus came not to condemn the world, but that the world through him would be saved. Do you know that Jesus ever called one prostitute hypocrite? Never called one homosexual hypocrite. Never called one you know, adulterer, none of them, thief, murderer, a, a religious people, people who saw the man bleeding in the gutter, and they can't stop to bend down and reach out, oh, to be God's hand extended Reaching out. You can't. They have to be in the temple. Then came along the press team. And then walked on the other side. But here comes. The good. A stranger. A stranger. A Gentile. But he was ready. To come off his horse. God Almighty. How many are bleeding right inside here tonight? Bleeding. The thief, the murderer, the devil stripped them, left them half dead. But the church is so caught up with the religiosity, caught up with religion, that they can't hear the groanings. They can't, all they are concerned about is the pretty church building. And the, the young people are bleeding. They are hurting. They have been battered. They have been bruised. They have been trampled on. Oh, God Almighty, oh, to be God's hand. Yes. Tended, reaching out to the oppressed. Let me touch him. Let me touch Jesus. Good God Almighty. And be blessed. I was straight so far from Jesus. I was lonely, lost, had no peace within. Then the hand of my say he had touched me. No one reaching out to others. In sin. You know there was a time in the New Testament church of God. Never believe in ten crusade. No. You know why? 
every believer was an evangelist. So you got saved tonight, my brother. You start evangelizing. Then I said, I wouldn't tell it to a living soul. Oh, we brought salvation and he made. But then I find I couldn't hide such love that Jesus did impart. For it makes me laugh and it makes me cry. Set my sinful soul on fire. Hallelujah. When God dip his love. You get me? You get me? Everybody was evangelizing. So everybody telling everybody, right? Yeah, that God saved you. So when you go to the workplace, we used to work at John Wong supermarket, and Brother Gardner, they don't know him as Gardner. It's Christian. That's how they call you, if to anybody call Christian. Yeah, man, something has gone wrong. We're not willing to be that misfit. You have to be, you know. God bless you. God bless you. Are you prepared tonight to be that individual who has no desire? To be like the crowd. But you are going to stand out. And be counted. Let it count. Yes. Yes. It doesn't mean you don't have pleasure. It doesn't mean you are going to stand on the word of God. You are going to love God. You love God. You don't have to love church. Me tell you something. You love God. You just love God. Hallelujah. Oh, God Almighty. You just love God. Love in your heart does a boil up for Him. You just love God. Love the Lord with all your heart. Love God with all your soul. Love God, Glenn Devon. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. You said, you young people, do you love the Lord? Yes, I surely do. Love God. Young people, love God. Love God. Love God Almighty. Mighty hallelujah. Love the Lord with all your soul. Just love God. Just stand with me, please. Stand with me. In St. Matthew 24, you know Jesus walking away from the temple. His disciples, amen, came to him. Lord, look at the building. Hallelujah. And he said, listen, the day is coming when not even one stone will be left on another that shall not be thrown down. That happened in AD 70. That was fulfilled. It will happen again. God warns us. The devil has deceived us. You know, in chapter, in chapter verse 4, when he said, Lord, tell us when shall these things be? Are you with me? And what shall be the sign of your coming? And of the end of the age. Three questions. Before Jesus answered any of those questions. He said. Verse 4. Matthew 24. Take heed. Be on your guard. Be on the alert. That no one deceives you. Argument done. For many will come in my name. I want somebody to go beyond church doctrines tonight. I want somebody to go beyond church teachings tonight. And turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look straight in his wonderful face. 
and the things Holy Ghost. Mm. Mm. In the light of his glory. Isaiah, a prophet in Isaiah 6, he said, in the year King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord. Ah, oh, God, turn your eyes upon Jesus. I look for he had an up Word look. In his wonderful face. And then he had an inward look. Wow! And the oh, God Almighty. Of this world. And he had an outward look. In the light, in the light, oh, Shatore of his glory. Of his glory. Somebody. Somebody. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look straight in his marvelous says it was in the year you should be able to write it down you should be able to write down the day you surrendered your life to God but you know all of us sometimes it's over time that something that divine revelation of who God is. But it's Friday night. It's the 26th of January 2024. You could testify I had an encounter with the Almighty. It may be not even in the building. It may be going home. Something drives you to your bathroom. Something drives you under the bed. Something drives you into the living room. Something called Shatore Bonsaya. But you know you had a personal encounter. Go beyond a relationship tonight. Go beyond just a relationship. Go beyond I mean, go where you have like Jacob God me nah let go. Sigimali say not a dread nah let go. Me ma hang in the Jacob say me nah let go. Not until you touch me God. 
not until you touch me. Touch me again, Lord. Touch me, me. It's not my mother. It's not my father. It's not my brother. It's not my sister. It's me, oh Lord, God Almighty. Something down inside of me. Telling me, turn your eyes. God eternally bless you today. in his wonderful face. God eternally and the Holy Kushan. Hallelujah. It's me again, Lord. It's me again. It's me again, Jehovah. Holy, 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 and great. Could I ask you right now? Stretch your hand across. Rest your hand on somebody's shoulder, or somebody's head. Down. Touch, just, just reach out and touch somebody. Just reach out. And touch somebody. Reach out, reach over, forward, backward, sideways. Oh, God Almighty. Spirit of God, open your mouth, child of God. Open your mouth, child of God. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Rocko shot to Rebosa. Shella Baba Baba to Rebosaya. She Nikosaya. Shandola Baba to Rebosaya. Bola Koto Rebosataya. Yako Rebosaya. Jesus. Oh God Almighty, What? 
करते Hallelujah My friends I say to all of us 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 all God is asking from us tonight is not our 40 days of fasting is not our 21 days of fast Is that our rituals and our ceremonies? God is just asking us to present our bodies. Present surrender. So that which we are asking God to do. It's already done friends. It's already done. God is asking us tonight to bring all on the altar of sacrifice for the manifestation. I believe God tonight. I believe God my friends. I'm not talking about church. But my 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 desire tonight not just tonight I mean in this time this age now I'm believing God before I leave earth to see a little peep of God's glory right here in Montego Bay not about church not about church not about the hypocrisy and the noise no is to see the glory of God filling the earth God has a remnant tonight a remnant that will surrender the bodies to the Lord before I hand back this microphone to Pastor Lewis I ask you to raise your hands with me both hands. I say yes. Lord, yes. To your will and to your way. Open your mouth and say I say Lord, yes. I will trust you. When your spirit speaks to me with my Whole heart. I'm in agreement. Yes. God bless you, Pastor Louis. Bless you, people of God. I release the anointing of the Spirit of God upon you. I command beauty for ashes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command the oil of joy for morning. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Na ya ya pore bosaya. Yes. Yes. Lord yes. Yes. The garment of praise. the spirit of the spirit the spirit of the spirit yes lord yes lord oh lord yes lord yes to your will to your way
way and it's not over it's not over it's not over we are expecting more from the Lord amen as we go along and as you go tonight I want you to, to remember that you know one of our faithful sisters would have passed on amen and tomorrow will be the Thanksgiving service right here it begins at 11 a.m. And she would have been a faithful member. You look on the, the church on the outside, you see her name, E. Clark. Praise God. I want to pray that everything will go well. It will be streaming live. We will get the, the stream and, and we will send it to the family that they can, those who are not able to come, will be able to, to view it. Amen. 
So please make up the ushers and everybody. Please make up the choir members. And make yourself available for tomorrow. It's also the funeral service for Brother Greens and our father. Amen. And we just pray for the families. Amen. We just do our part. May God bless us all. Put your hands together for Bishop Keith Williams. My God. Amen. May God bless him. May God do not touch him. And I say it very, very often. Amen. Because if the older he gets, the more powerful he becomes. But we pray for him, brothers and sisters. Amen. That God's you know, blood and, and coverage will be you know, over him continually. God bless every one of you. Those of you on social media, we invite you to join us in church. Amen. On Sunday morning, we begin 10 you know, a.m. And those of you who can come to church, please come to the Glen Devon in our church. There is a miracle awaiting you. And Sunday is Youth Sunday. It's Youth Sunday. And we, we the dynamic you know, choir, dynamic voices will be singing. You have got to hear them. You have got to see them. Amen. So don't stay away. God bless you. Mm. Hallelujah. Just wave those wonderful hands of yours. And that hand, just lay, in, lay it on somebody one more time. Just put it on somebody's shoulder. As a point of contact. We believe in miracles. Amen. And before I pronounce the benediction, I want to give you the, the good news. You would have prayed for Sister Amelia on Sunday. She did the surgery on Wednesday. And she's out of the hospital. Amen. I talk with her. To God be the glory. Amen, church. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee. And give thee peace. And sport and forevermore. Let us all say, don't forget, Lord's Supper, washing of the saints' feet Sunday night. All those who were baptized, I want to meet you Sunday morning. All being well. God bless you. Take care. You are dismissed. Hallelujah.